we left off with the group returning to the starting city and then approaching the house where the hag had taken residence. And that is where we left off. I tell them, I shout, Nick Naveen, the queen under the mountain. Quest your presence. So I'm going to lean down, I'm going to grab her neck and just like pump the first one and I'm going to just get really close to her and just go, I told you, I am death. And then I'm going to just breathe acid like into her face and mouth and eyes. And then, and then I just, uh, like I'm a barber with the scissors and comb trip trick and run my sword along the top of the shield and chop her head off. Just a distraught little girl. And, uh, yeah, she starts crying in your arms. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. We've been through a lot. And how, how big is she? Uh, I mean, she's probably six, seven. Okay. Yeah, so I do, like, the whole, like, I, you know, I pick her up, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, like you would a little kid. She doesn't resist. She just starts crying. And just cradle her head, and I'm gonna go find a place to sit down with her while she can cry it out. Yeah. doesn't take too long uh, once the sounds have stopped of all the commotion and the young boy peeks his head through the door to the bedroom and mistress is it over? It's over, you're safe now. Oh, wait, where where is she? What, what? She's gone. I was I'm, about to say he's standing over her dead body, but then I remembered it melted yeah, into nothing, same. basically. I'm walking over to where I dropped the mask, and I'm just going to pick it up, uh, drop my form, put it on, take a step to the side, and just kind of uh, watch. Okay. Um... As I'm holding the little girl, I also reach, like, an arm out to gesture for the boy to come. Okay. And he, he goes over to you. And... Same thing. I mean, just doesn't take more than half a second of them to realize that the hags are gone for them to just start sobbing. Um, Radir will step back in and it's kind of looking around, still sword at the ready. Mm -hmm. And when I turn and I see Taldama caring for these children, um, like all of that, like tense, like prepared for combat, it's just like like a wa like just 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 all of it just releases, just, and I kind of like settle down, and my eyes that are still solid black, it like just, just kind of like fades back to normal. Mm -hmm. Uh, roll me. Both Oliver and Radir, roll me wisdom saving throws. Ten. Twenty and ten. Fifteen. Fifteen, because I would have been in the door at this point. Uh, this would have been before. This would have been, like, oh, right okay. as combat ended. But even, even a ten, um, in this situation... Oliver, roll me a perception check. Ooh, boy. Ooh, a nine. Okay. Uh, 
Radir, roll me a perception check as you walk into the room. Hmm. 17, because my shield gives me advantage. That's right, okay. Roll me a religion check, then. Radir. I, I'm really good at these. <laughs> That's an 8. 8. Alright, um... You think you see something moving in the room that looks like kind of a mist or a fog. But you don't really... It, it doesn't stand out to you. And both of you take a deep breath and are fine. I'm going um, to... Oh, go ahead. Kind of stoically walk into the other room over the body into the corner and just kind of collapse into the corner like sitting down and kind of like just shakingly look at my hands okay and so the last time you had looked at your hands like this there was kind of a black ethereal mist coming off of them that's not there interesting no yeah. There is, however, because now you're looking for it, um, there is a white, translucent mist coming from the corpse next to you. Not going to your hands, but going to the scythe. You harvested the souls. He's the soul reaver. You know, if it's these hags, I... That's fine. <laughs> take a moment to process that and then just kind of lean my head against the walls. Mm -hmm. Take a moment. Um, I want to check on the, the the kids. So they they both look like they're being affected by some kind of magic. So the boy, roll me a perception check with advantage. Or an investigation check with advantage. Or a medicine check. Oh, well, or see. an arcana uh, check. You know, just do oh. all the checks. <laughs> well, my, I'll, I'll do medicine instead. Excellent. So 15 if I have advantage on it. Okay. So the boy is gaunt. He is malnourished. He has been beaten. But he is not under any kind of um, transformation that you can tell. He is very dirty. But okay. not uh, not turning green. Um, but the, the girl, girl on the other hand, seems to be very greenish in certain areas. Um, roll me an Arcana check with advantage. Anybody who wants to. Nice. Well, I'll step back into the room. I guess. At this point. Sixteen. Twenty-three. Okay. So, Radir, there's something magical. With her, this doesn't seem like a normal disease or anything. Um, but what it is, you can't really tell. Taldama Oliver. and Oliver, they were gr definitely grooming her to be a hag. And working on cursing her with, you know, afflictions to cause misery so that she would then cause it in others and... All that nasty stuff. I'm going to uh, approach them and, you know, just kind of be comforting to them with, with Kodama for a moment. Mm -hmm. And once I know that they're kind of comfortable with me being there, um, I'll lightly touch her and I'll use Cleansing Touch. Um, so it's my Paladin ability. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, it ends one spell on the willing creature. So if she's under a spell, it will end it. Okay. I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what I, that's, I'm, we're going to use that in, just in case. All right. Well, um, she was under the spell of bestow curse. And because of that, what you just did, she no longer is. And you actually all watch or sense, um, the magical aura fade away from her. It might take a little bit of time 
for all of the effect to wear off for her to be back to the way she was, but as of right now, she is getting better. Cool. That's what I was hoping for. If that wouldn't have worked, uh, we were just going to wait a day, and I was going to use uh, Remove Curse, because I have that spell as well, but I would have had to prepare it, so it would have taken Feel, a day. You two are all skin and bones. We're going to come... We're gonna take you to see a friend of mine. Are are we allowed to leave? We we haven't been able to leave the house for a while. You're allowed to leave. Come with me. Do we have to come back? Not if you only if you want to. Um, actually, before they actually, I'm wondering if we should check out the other two houses before we depart this place. You you make sure the children are safe. Uh, Oliver and I will, will investigate. Alright, I'm gonna take them to, um... <laughs> me and all my animal friends are going to take them to <laughs> Kathnia's. Okay. It's a, uh, very interesting sight that actually does bring a few of the remaining townsfolk out of their houses watching these two little kids being marched down the street with a panther and a badger. The panther has this white weasel riding on its back that's just <laughs> chittering happily. Yeah. Radir, go ahead and roll me a uh, investigation check. Investigate all the rooms in this house and the other two buildings. Okay. Yeah. And I'm staying to help with that. You're going to do that too? Alright, so have advantage or you both can roll. I have a plus six. Oh, well then you roll with advantage because my, my investigation is terrible. Seventeen. Okay. Um, the makeshift houses were definitely for a hag. There's uh, spell scrolls, not like pre-made ones, but there's paper and ink four spells, there's a you know, couple hundred gold, I'd say 200 gold between the two houses, uh, the smaller ones up at the top of the map. On the lower end is of the main house, you find the dead body uh, desiccated as if the life force had been drained from a uh, Looks to be an older gentleman, but that might be due to his uh, current deceased nature. And does he look like does he look like Roland? He does look like Roland. He's very clearly the uh, husband of the wife that you sought to save, who unfortunately had been cursed and didn't know how to use her words, and then. Inside the house, you find very little of worth. You know, there's a, a brewing potion of some kind here that you could maybe bottle up and see what it does. I'll and... identify it. Why not? Okay. Roll me a d100. Okie doke. 99. 99. Right. It is that of greater healing potion. A full vat? Full vat. You can probably get three vials. I nice. happen to have two empty bottles in my inventory. All right. Cool. So I'll scoop up two. Well, you know what? I probably have one more empty bottle because I drank a healing potion. Oh, that was a while ago. No, I think it'll just be the two. Still, I, will, I have two for sure. Meet up. Uh, two of us get 66. One of us gets 67 out of the 200. Gold. Give everybody an even 68. Let's just make it nice and... Alright. Got it. 68? Yep. Cool, that is 2,800 gold that I have. I have almost a thousand platinum. And I'm, I'm basically a fey creature. There's nothing that I want. I would like to uh, make the rounds of the town. Okay. Look for anyone else that might be... Any other hags that might be milling about. Um, I will cast Detect Evil and Good as much as necessary. It does let me detect fey creatures. Okay. Um, 
and it lasts for 10 minutes. So however many times you think I need to do that to make a quick run around. Um, and what's the range on it? Oh, uh, it's 30. Anything within 30 feet of me. Okay. It's blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of metal, thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood. So any wood building I should still be able to detect within because it won't be that thick. Yeah. So there's only two stone buildings in town. There is the um, library, the mage's library that the dragonborn has sealed. And so you don't get a sense of that. And then there's the um, tavern that Kafni is at that is stone. I believe cool. there's also a stone guardhouse that the door to that is open. So you're able to step inside and get a sense at uh, no hags in there. Yeah, nothing. Nothing pings. You you kind of get the sense that the if there were more hags that they would have um, come running. Uh, how many slots do I need to burn for that? I feel like jogging around. I'm not like going slow. Yeah, okay. So you're, you're going pretty quick. The duration on that is... 10 minutes per slot. Oh, good lord. Okay. I don't know. Three, four slots? Okay. I'll just use all four of my first level slots. There you go. Wait. So 40 minutes just to be rel moderately thorough. So Kathnia um, welcomes you, Taldama, as you approach. Kathnia welcomes you in with open arms, gets the children, and instantly goes to starting to cook them up uh, a meal as you explain to her what happened at Roland's house. We took care of the problem for you. Thank you so much for doing that, for saving this town again. Oh, it was no trouble at all. Barely an inconvenience, really. And and so what's, what's next? I mean... Well, from what I'm told, the skies have gone pretty red. A little less so lately, but we've got to um, go and clean that up. You're fixing that up? That's Who else? A, that's a big task. Who else do you think it would have been? I don't know. I... Wow. I should I should get these kids fed. Um, have you been keeping up with your cooking skills? Oh, have I? Let's let's uh. Get to the kitchen and I'll help you cook. You sure? You you were just learning when we started. Oh, I think you'll find I've learned. And my I shrink my staff down to the six inch pestle. Yes. Alright, roll me a cooking check. And now With I have advantage. Advantage. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Um so, Oliver, while Radir is going around the, the town and checking for hags, what are you doing? I'm probably going to stick back at the house for a little bit and just kind of ruminate on events. Okay. And then um, I'm just going to I'm just going to walk and I'll eventually meet back up with them. But I'm just going to take a little walk as you are walking and just thinking about things. You eventually meet up with Radir, who's wandering around in half a very, like, orderly grid pattern of walking between these houses. And also slightly getting, like, you know, distracted by what he might hear, what he sees. But eventually the two of you reconvene outside of Kafnia's tavern. You both walk in to find Taldama and Kafnia in the back, cooking up a storm. The kids are at the counter, making themselves sick with how much they are eating of all of this food, and it's just coming out, and... Um, as you step in, Kafnia peeks her head out and says, Come in, come in, this is the first time we've been cooking like this in ages. I'll enter. Radir? Uh, yeah, I, I'm happy to see you happy again. Well, finally have a reason to be happy and things can get back to some kind of normalcy and uh, it's it's good to have a reason to cook. 
other than just basic sustenance. No, you can uh, <clears throat> you can start to rebuild your town. And we will. We will. You you check back in a couple of months and this place will be brand new. Well, before we leave, I am going to do something for you because all of your plants around here felt a little bit withered. They they've seen better days. That's that's for sure. But what are you going to do? Well, I can't I can't do it till the morning. So, boys, do you mind if we stay here for the night? No, I think that's a good idea. I'd like to keep a, a watch for a little bit longer just to be safe. Good, because I'm going to need most of the day tomorrow to restore the land. And I'm going to cast plant growth over the next eight hours tomorrow. Okay. While we eat, um, I know we said the little girl was, what, about six-ish? Yep. Uh, how old is the boy? About eight. About eight? Okay. I'm just gonna just watch. As we are uh, cooking and talking to the children, I, I, I'm asking, so, um, Kathnia, I don't suppose these two still have their parents around? We haven't seen Roland in a long time, and, and we thought that, you know, their, you had brought their mom back from the forest. Oh, so these were their children. Yeah. Um, would it be imposing upon you to take care of them for a while? She asked the kids if they would like that, and they both quickly agree. Good, because where I'm going, it's too dangerous for them. Uh, Oliver, as you're watching, roll me an insight check. Nine. I'll give you the 24, because you're, okay. you're taking your time. You're, you're, you know, being very methodical about it. Uh, what are you looking for? I'm just reminiscing that one of the last times that I lost control, my brother died. Okay. And this guy is still here. And you watch as the body language starts to shift from very, very apprehensive, very skittish to calming down to... Definitely unsure about what the future holds, but for the first time in a long time, feels a sense of security. Very quiet right now, but there is that sense in in him, uh, Theo, that it'll be okay. Spend the next day here then, as she does that. I'll just take some time to watch them. Um, are we, like, just gonna fast forward? Or are we gonna do... A like a little bit are we that's up to you all guys i mean Um, i know what i'm doing but i'm gonna well radir is going to patrol the town for the whole night um and then while you guys are like cleaning up and doing that stuff in the day he'll sleep during the day while you do that um but he he wants to make sure he's on guard for the night just in case because I'm definitely going to be the most resilient against anything another hag might throw if, if they show up. So, yeah. I am going to, during the night, find a spot, a hill or something just outside of town and just watch the town and the, the night sky. And then the next day, I will help with whatever repairs are needed um, and do a little bit of talking to locals and seeing what they need and trying to arrange some of those types of things. Okay. Uh, I'll as, say also, as I did my first search around the town, I would have, any of the locals that I'd encountered, because obviously I would have been able to detect that they were normal, I would have offered um, healing and stuff like that if anyone needed it. So. And then for the for the plant growth, I'm going to walk out um, probably to the nearest field where they would have had their crops growing. Mm-hmm. And I touch, like, my my face goes solid white again as I'm channeling all my powers, and I'm reminiscing about my time with the Lord of the Hunt. And both hands onto the ground and just channel all of my energies into it as they start to glow, and then it pulses light, just emanating from my origin. And then as I... <clears throat> And then I'm going to basically sit on onto the ground and just kind of meditate on how I want 
the uh, all like all the nutrients from the earth to be pulled in, kind of like Goku pulling in the uh, <laughs> the energy for the spirit bomb. Yep. And just coalescing it into the into the land. So over the next twenty four hours, give or take whatever the time frame of this world is with its two moons and unique uh, calendar cycle, but um, you know over the next day. People in the town start to come out and gather. Kathnia's becomes once again like it used to be and and will be again the meeting place for people. And quickly becomes clear that while she was miserable, she tried to maintain a sense of hope throughout all of this. And in doing so has become the de facto leader for this regrowth. Oh, yeah. And she quickly takes to this role and the house that the hag was in, um, Roland is buried. The hag remnants are taken out into the woods and dealt with appropriately. Uh, most of the houses are starting to get divvied up into work that needs to be done to fix them up. As, you know, an outsider watches, would be watching, sees a knight in armor. As more and more people come about, you know, puts on a uh, simple cover over the armor and goes about helping people wherever he's needed. Um, and sleeping, getting a full full rest, but, you know, feeling invigorated with the work that can be done. A gentleman in a plague mask goes around and helps with odd jobs. Um, you are able to coax um, Sora, the dragonborn, out of the library, finally, and she recognizes you. And then um, you watch as this young woman sits in a field and the growth this dare this barren desolate terrain starts to come to life and Taldama you can sense the like even the the earthworms in the ground starting to become more active and start their process of naturally fertilizing the earth below your feet that's right, little guys. Go to work. As the day comes to an end, the evening comes, and Kathnia lays out a meal for you all at the uh, counter in the tavern. At this point, you've all reconvened. Everybody is fully rested, fully healed, all their spell slots, except for those that have been expelled. Expelled. Exp uh, used up. Words. Expended. Expended. And she just says, um... Well, it's, it's been a single day, but a lot was accomplished. Thank you. You're quite welcome. I'm just happy we were able to fix this. Um, what I'm going to do is, you know those enchanted boxes I had that people could put their gold into? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to give her one, and I'm going to say, if you ever need us again... Write a message and put it in here. You'll you'll get you'll hear about it. Mm -hmm. Originally, they were meant for a bit more uh, of an entrepreneurial endeavor, but um, pretty sure you could put whatever you want into them. I had people put gold in, but so just write us a note. I I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else that? The others want to converse about or say? Before we leave, I want to find the two children. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to kneel in front of them. See, you both were very, very brave in there. And young lady, I want to let you know that out of all of the monsters that were in there, the only person that could even hit us was you. And that <laughs> makes you strong. Sorry. No, that's, that is good. That is strength. And you can use that to grow, and, and one day, 
you could be the protector of this town. And you, Theo, yeah. you are so good at hiding. You could use that as your strength. Use that as, as a method to help you. Together, you two, with everything that you've been through, with the strength you have, you can help this town, and maybe even the world in the future. We will. Good. We will. And then I'll watch them run away. Or... <laughs> yep, they go running off to a group of, seems like fewer children in the town than the last visit. But there is a group of kids that are coming and playing and talking about the big scary monsters that they saw. You know how kids cope. Mm. Yep. Before we leave, right in the center of the town square, mm -hmm. I'm putting up a statue of the three of us. Okay. <laughs> As the statue goes up, you hear a voice behind you. Uh, there's an individual clapping and says, It's a good likeness. Thank you, I've had a lot of practice. And the three of you turn to see an old, old, old man. Makes Radir look young. Radir does look young. <laughs> young, younger. Makes Radir look younger. <laughs> makes Radir sound young. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, clad in this bright white armor. Just and the the sheen off of it is almost blinding to those of you that use your eyes to see. And uh Does this person look familiar? I forget, have you met Helm? Helm? Okay, no. Alright. Oh it's fine. I was it's thinking a... maybe it was someone else. Well maybe this is another god. The god of protection. Oh. I have notes. <laughs> <laughs> And says, um, you three have been through a lot, huh? And we're about to go through a little bit more. You are. We've been keeping our eye on you. As yeah, one of you knows. Why is that? We have plans. Oh, well, that's good. It's I good think. that you have plans, but, you know, you shouldn't, like, the person that you have plans for, like, be, no like, in on the knowledge just a little bit? And that's why I'm here. Oh, good. This was your final trial. I did not, I was not aware we were under trials, but I'll, okay. Works. You were, needed to see how you would handle some adversity. It'd been a little bit too successful for our taste. Too but... successful? At least for trials, and then... Maybe the trial should have been a little bit harder, if you know. Oh, oh, do you want harder trials? Well, I think we have a good one set out for us. We do have to take care of this cardinal person. Yes! Right. The world's most dangerous bird. Because you have been so successful and true to yourselves, the gods have decided that you Oliver, are our champion now. That, uh, that is a, uh, a heavy burden, I would assume. One but, that uh, we I... know that you can handle with the help of your friends. We will do our best. All we ask is that you are true to yourselves, true to your nature, and putting in your past trials and tribulations to good use. I think our past trials and tribulations are what makes us good use, pushes us to do the good that we do. I agree. And that is why, when the gods have a dispute, in the future we will have no more of this saloon versus char nonsense. Good. It's very petty, it feels like. Mm. We will come to you three, and your guidance will be what we seek. Wait, we're supposed to give you counsel? Mm. 
when our affairs meddle in the lives of mortals, perhaps it is mortals that should have a say. Well, Think that say was, fair that assessment? Was very wise. So, if you will be our champion, we will not force you. Do you accept? I do. And you, Radir Taldama, do you accept uh, to help him? Yes. Do you even need me to say so? I always have and always will help Oliver. Very good. Then Oliver, for embracing your true nature and not running from it and not letting it control you, I give you the gift of the Chromatic Dragon. Radir, for channeling your anger into good and healing instead of hurting. I give you the gift of the Metallic Dragon. And Taldama, for accepting yourself and maintaining a strong will. The gift of the Gem Dragon. Gemstones. And I will go through those with you. But They're all three of you right? feel a very strong power course over you, and with a hearty old laugh, the beam of the sun turning to dusk as the blood moon takes control of the night. The helm is gone. Well, that oh. certainly cleared it up. That, uh, definitely did happen. Wow, you're kind of a big deal now, Oliver. Apparently, I, should... I don't... I don't know how I feel about that, but, you know, we will see how it goes. We will work through it, and, uh, hopefully this could lead to, I don't know, less blood in the sky and werewolf uprising. Right. Speaking of which, we should probably get on that. That's, that is true. We should, we should go deal with that. Cool. So, um to the king and queen first, and tell them we're ready to go? Well, uh, more than we're going to investigate the rest of oh, the cults right. up north here. We did get sidetracked. A little bit. Just a tiny bit. I think this was important, though. Oh, uh, yes. Very important. What's the name of the city by the lake? Sorry. City by the lake? This one? Yeah. Wait. Oh, is that where... This is the... Okay, the rabbit-shaped lake is the one where we're going to go. Well, I thought if we went there and then headed east. Okay, see, I, I was thinking we could go to the other city by the lake and then head west, but either I'd way go, I'd rather go here and east, because then we head them off if they were traveling up that way. True. Okay, that works for me. Let and me you... pull up my map. And then you well, can, we can teleport... Rest, and then you well, we can, can rest one more night here if we need to. You could teleportation circle us there. Yep. I, I like druids a lot. <laughs> Alright, that is... Cofford. That's oh, right, we were yeah. in Cofford. Yeah, yeah, we had been there. That's why I knew it was... I'm gonna go see my little halfling friend and ask him, Hey, where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> As you rest for the night, feeling this new power that has been given to you, you all are able to have a very night, a very deep, peaceful sleep. Knowing that in the morning you will wake up on the next leg of your adventure. And we will pick this up next week. Yay! So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you to all of our moderators, to Casper for the raid, for everybody in the chat. It's been fun to watch it tonight. Um, yeah, just thank you so much. Make sure to check out all of our socials um i'll throw up our link tree it's a little late to be doing it but that's okay with that as always may you roll those nat 20s and avoid those critical fails and have a good night bye, bye.